Do you see my screen now? Yep. Okay. So this is another uh, fling by Andrew Morgan. Uh, I didn't actually introduce him on the last fling, but he is part of the EUC, uh, EUC office of the CTO. Um, and he's very responsive on Twitter. Um, I had some questions about this utility um, almost when it came out, and he was very helpful um, helping me uh, figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, the requirements, very little. Uh, .NET Framework, Horizon at least 7.2. And I think this may have changed. And because um, if you go into the PDF file, it actually says no longer requires a help desk license. Um, what you do not get is like the session view. Um, you have to have the help desk license to get that. Um, but his documentation is really um, uh, top notch. He's also the one that did the Horizon Reach one. So very easy focused dude, and he knows what he's doing. So it is just an MSI installer. There is a zip file if you want to go for the EXE. Uh, it was actually asked to do the MSI, I'm guessing, because some people want to probably push it out through a GPO. It is only needing to be installed on the machines that will be like a help desk user. Um, so in this case, I'm installing on my laptop. And next, next, finish. And then you will pair it to a connection server once it's done. At that point, you can log in with your um, admin cast, uh, password for the connection pool. So while that's doing that, let me actually close it so you guys can see it from the start. Once you launch it and install it, and there's a shortcut on the desktop or it's actually running um, in the tool tray. So there, I'll just let that finish. Uh, to me, this is, uh, I like that there is a dark theme because if you go back to it, I'm not big on this theme anymore, but just little things like that. You can jump straight to a pool if you want to. You can share the environment, or you can like search for a user. In this case, I'll do my user, and it'll tell you where that user has been uh, logged in, and how long, and which pools, uh, what kind of protocol they're using, and if they're local or external. So in this case, I'm all local. I close that, and let's do show environment. So right off the bat, you see I've got a red light. That is because my certificate's invalid, as Horizon Reach also told us. But there's no kind of graphs that are telling you anything. Um, it looks like you cannot actually jump into the connection server to see anything else with that, but you can pair this with Horizon Reach and kind of get those nice graphs. This is more like a help desk user, a, a call center, or an operations. They need to uh, have a user calls and says, you know, something's not working right for me, and they can uh, log in and see everything. Uh, issue all the information, kind of like what VROS would, but right at a glance. And it also, you'll see every so often, it's refreshing automatically in the bottom right. Uh, so this is my jump box. We'll just jump into that one. I don't want to say double click, but that's what I did. And it gives you all the information of what that pool is set up. It tells you what settings we're setting. Um, set. You can actually see, again, my agent version is 7.8, uh, so I need to update that. But if I go into the user sessions, then you can do some things. You can log off, disconnect, message, assist, restart, reset. Um, or you can actually jump into it again and go even further into the user uh, and see how much the CPU they're using, how much RAM, disk, uh, I do not have the login break, log on breakdown right now, but that is one useful utility because one, I probably haven't logged in to this one since I launched it. Uh, I am on RDP right now. And then again, pull settings you can see from there. Uh, machine info, obviously it's Windows 10, 64 bit, uh, again, 7.8. And this will tell you what host it's on in the vCenter. Entitlement, so my user Joey is entitled in those two pools. And then these are the applications that are actually running on that VDI, right? So again, it's automatically refreshing this. So if a user calls and says, hey, my application, I can't do anything with it, you could probably see it's hung, which is good. 
and then all the processes that are running on that BDI at that time. So you get the same information from the VROPS for Horizon uh, using that help desk there, but this is a utility that I think uh, is very beneficial for a help desk where they could just have it running and open it up right away instead of having to go through a browser or anything like that. Let's That's jump back. Go ahead. Very cool. Um, is this VM that you are connected to right now, is that the desktop session that we're looking at? Yeah, that was the actual desktop session. Um, of this jump box is my uh, RDP screen right here. Okay. So could you send a message? And s I just want to see what that looks like. Uh, the sending message is not working on my machine for mm -hmm. some reason. It, it'll, I'll show you. Um, I did test logging myself off while ago, um, and that worked. But uh, <laughs> I don't do the that. Messages. Yeah, the messages. Let's see if I can just send an error. No, that's just successful. Huh. So I'll have to ask him why it does that. But I do know that the log off disconnect assist work. Um, uh -huh. I do not want to test them right now. Uh, let's test on this one. This one just finished. And it is this window. So this is my instant clone blast session. It gives me, like, again, it tells me the snapshot that I'm using, which I always put the date and time of the snapshot. It tells me the agent version. I can go into the user. It's been idle, but I've been connected for 30 minutes. Double click into that again. Now you can see the history of um, that VDI. Let's go into applications. There's nothing, nothing running. I'm going to go ahead and launch Google Chrome, and we should see that. I say launching it. And my home lab is not as great as Steve's. I need to do some maintenance on it. Take my window locked up. There, it did. So we should see, yep, there it is, Google Chrome launched. And then if we go into the dashboard of it, you can kind of see a little bit of a spike. So any questions over this tool? That's pretty cool. I can see, you know, uh, network operations center or whoever's, you know, help. Yeah. For first line of support, yeah. just push this out. And that's really helpful. Yep. I totally agree with that. You know, some of these call centers that, you know, they have a uh, large VDI footprint, this would be ideal for them. And it's awesome. very simple to install. It's, it's, just that agent on the machine that you will be launching the tool from, and then it just ties in and uses all the API inside of Horizon. So what was, I, maybe I missed it, but what was the process to log into a particular Horizon okay. environment? So I just installed my laptop. I'll mm -hmm. launch the agent. It should give us a prompt to yeah, accept the EULA. Then here's the, oh, I see. So in this case, you're just giving your connection, one of your connection servers. Yep. I'll log in with my account and log in with my domain. At that point, cool. it is now bound. You're going to trust the certificate, and it's connected. So it's running right down here in the tool tray. Very cool. Go away. There it is. So same kind of deal. I'm going to do a search for Joey. And there it is. That's awesome. And this is not this machine I'm on here is actually a physical laptop, so uh, this could be definitely ideal for a first first line support. Yeah. Very cool. Any questions from anybody? We got a couple minutes left, and I got one more to show, but it should be easy. <laughs> 